Okay, Puff, here we go. We are about to commit a, uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, let me rephrase this. We are bringing justice on this. Okay. Yeah, we are freeing these diamonds from the shoulder prison. They're bounded, they're bounded to the... Send to the in our pockets form. Yes. Okay. So and yes. Actually, we're going to leave the beacon there. It's time to transform this beacon into something spectacular. Here, here. Okay, hold on, I gotta drop some blocks. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here... Here we have it. The Haste 3 beacon. Time to leave the clues for Jay and Skunk, and allow them to hunt their diamonds down. Alright, guys. Alright guys, you may notice my voice is a little different. Yeah, that's because I got a new mic. I'm going to put a picture of it right up on screen right now. And it, yeah, it's a it's an odd looking mic, but hey, it has so much better sound quality. And, you know, my mouse is so much less quiet with it. So it's amazing. Um... If you guys are interested in getting this mic and the other stuff I'm using with this mic, I will link all of that gear in this video's description and eventually in my channel info page. However, ladies and gentlemen, um, we need to create a nether tunnel, okay? And uh, we need to get some blackstone for that because I want to use blackstone and prismarine as my channel. No, 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 no. As my my tunnel design. So we need to buy some stuff. Blackstone, two diamonds per stack. Bulk promotion, seven diamonds per five stacks. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's 14 diamonds. 28 diamonds. There we go. 28 diamonds. That should be plenty of blackstone. Let's go ahead and grab the goodies box. 28 diamond. And payments go here. Let's go ahead and do some good old vandalism. There we go. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some prismarine bricks crafted up. I'm gonna craft up blackstone, polished blackstone uh, stairs and slabs and things and uh, design a little bit of a kind of repeating pattern that I can build. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bring you guys back when I have a full on plan. So yeah. All right, guys. So this here is the nether tunnel design. It is a 10 wide or 10 long section, and I'm just going to repeat this pattern pretty much over. So we have these like archways here. We have a full block, a prismarine brick, another full block, and that full block's all across the top. Then we got um, walls in between. I think it looks pretty darn good, and of course I have this nice snazzy pressure plateage to allow us to go speedy quick but also have it look pretty awesome so this is going to be my tunnel design it's time that i gather up all my materials and get to work all right so i'm working on the tunnel here and um yeah placing in the packed ice for the tunnel i've already mined out the space i'm going to need for it so i'm just gonna get to work and yeah i will see you guys uh basically when it's done so yeah.
All right, guys, here is the beautiful tunnel. Oh, yes, finally, after, God, so many episodes, we have a tunnel. Do, 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 do. Haha. <laughs> I actually really like the design. So we go all the way down here, all the way here, and then here it goes to KB's tunnel design. But over here, kabam, some color, beautiful color. It's just a three by three. It's easy to fly down, jump up, fly through. And then we now have um, just regular nether rack on this side. I'm thinking what I want to do is have the nether portal to my base here and then have like a big room on this side of it as like my nether base almost. So that could be a new project that we do. Anyways, I spent the last like oh, a ton of ton of time AFKing. Um, this is the spot. I was checking to make sure I would reach the guardian farm and I very much did so if we look down here we should see one two three okay one two three okay we got up to basically here filled kind of like it, it's filled very good we can start crafting up finally some more prismarine bricks, dark prismarine, sea lanterns, and regular prismarine. We need to craft up all of those. And here is this area here. There's a zombie in here. Let's get him. There we go. And yeah, so that is awesome. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought of that compilation for the nether tunnel build. Something new with those interesting cuts and some more longer clips of what I was doing. I don't know, let me know. Hopefully it's cool. Anyways, time to move on. So guys, this is the beginning. The very first button to be pressed of Project Network. Haha, <laughs> here we are, okay. We just got wirelessly uh, tra teleported and enderported and all the things. This is something that I, I had a lot of fun designing this system. So I designed this, I designed the uh, Pretty much everything else that went into this but or a conglomeration of other designs of things as well it was it was an awesome project honestly uh, i would challenge you guys this is a fun project that i'm hoping to work on throughout uh the next couple episodes here so basically i want to have to a a panel all the way down there at the bottom to teleport to either there there's going to be this is going to be like the hub this, this area here, I finally figured out what I'm going to do with this area down here. This is going to be the hub. So the thing about this that makes it really interesting is just how much you can actually wire up. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a major redesign of this room here. It's going to just be here. The rest is going to be redstone stuff. We're going to keep this floor, but it's not really necessary. The idea is to have like two entrances here, and this is going to be a wall going all the way across here and we can select where we want to go in our base and it's of course only going to be in areas that we can load but the island is going to be part of our base now the island is a project I've been wanting to take on um, but there's a lot of things that we need to work on for to get this working anyways basically I'd like to have a network of teleportation and so this button here is wired up um, through a lot of interesting ways and I think the most interesting thing that I can show you guys is actually the uh, wireless redstone which I'm gonna have to go to over here for this one right here is where it is I believe yeah right here so this is the wireless redstone machine so this a piston below that um, minecart gets activated and gets pushed into this tripwire hook now I don't think there's an ender pearl in there. If there is, if we activate this, we'll get teleported. Yep, as you can see. Um, now, the, the current problem I'm having with this wireless redstone machine is, well, let me let me actually show you. When this gets um, triggered um, down there, it it's basically going too fast. I'm thinking, I'm hoping that I can fix that with a, a repeater on four ticks, right? Now there is gonna, unfortunately this is the one system for delay in this whole thing, but I think four ticks should do it. If not, 
Um, what I can do is like a T flip flop type thing where it's with sand though, so it works every time, every pulse. If you guys don't know, uh, basically, yeah, well, let's go ahead and try that. Um, let's try that and see how many pulses we get. Um, we're going to have to go to the button, I guess. Okay, it gets activated twice. So not as bad as before where it got activated like four times. Um, I think it got activated. Yeah, I think it, was, it was activated twice for sure. Okay, Spectator Puff has come in. Clutch, guys. And look at that. We get one pulse. Well, two pulses. But what that means is we're going to put one in and get one for the road kabam all right guys so that was a fun project to do but oh my goodness that was lucky or not lucky however you look at it that was actually lucky too we're gonna put the endermite's head right there okay so that was a really fun project i'm actually really proud of this so far it has been a test of my redstone skills not gonna lie but uh mainly it was wiring from a to b designing this was easy and doing the wireless redstone was easy because it's basically just it works in two directions I built it in the correct direction and kabam it works so that was cool um, however we are going to need to wire up a bunch of other areas around our base but there's just so much stuff we gotta do we gotta make so many buildings around here um, and oh, man I don't know what to do these buildings, like, they feel out of place because there's not buildings surrounding this thing yet, which is weird. But I'm, what I'm going to start doing is, like, spacing them out quite a bit. So, like, I'm going to put one there, and then the next one's going to be, like, right here. I think the next one's going to be here. Um, anyways, we need to work on filling up our base because this whole thing is, look, it's looking pretty good. But the only thing, in my opinion, that looks good is this section here. And then these farms over here just kind of look weird. Um, so, we need to set up farms everywhere is the uh, overall goal. So we're gonna finish this one right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have the building fully complete. Look at this thing. Look at it. Look at it. Looking good. Looking good. Um, we can go ahead and activate this thing with that button. I'm going to go ahead and make this the entrance just because I can. Uh, let's go ahead and press the button. There it goes. Place that, and there it goes. And, man, we're going to have so much bamboo. Just imagine how much bamboo you can have. Nice. 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 And of course, uh, you will get some bamboo back here. And uh, there we go. And I can just grab some at the edge here. It's, it's, it's a good system. We do not need to focus anymore on any of this. And this thing, we're going to get five stacks per run. That's great. Fine with me. Anyways, guys. <laughs> That's the bamboo farm. I used magenta glass because I had a surplus of magenta stained or magenta dye, I guess. So there it is. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping it still grows in the dark like that. If not, we'll have to add some lights in there. But uh, anyhow, it's time to move on, guys, because we still have some time left in today's episode. And um, yeah, we, 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 we really do. So basically, we're going to work on the room here. Um, and we're going to pretty much set up the wall all the way around here and do a different floor. So basically it's just going to be this kind of like trapezoid shape room. And the rest of it we're just going to put redstone in. So that's how it's going to be. I'm going to go ahead and gather up some materials and I will see you guys in just a sec. And here we are guys, look at that. We have a new room. It's strange looking, I know. It's a very alien looking room. Um, 
but it's what I was going for. And so eventually, this one goes up to the main storage room, obviously. And then each one of these panels is going to go somewhere. Um, probably not this one, but all these bigger ones are going to go somewhere. So that gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine more, nine expansion panels. We'll wait. One, two, three. So eight expansions, eight expansion panels. And we can probably add one up there if we really need to. Um, and yeah, this, this thing works awesomely. We can get up there and we get a ender pearl. Throw it back. Put these in there. It works fine. Um, but yeah, I'm actually really, really happy with that. So guys, um, so that's going to be it for today's episode, everyone. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, um, but there's a lot of stuff we still got to do. In fact, I think the next farm we're going to be building is a sugarcane farm over there. And uh, yeah, guys, man, oh man, this base, this base is coming along. Every episode we add something to it. Uh, I'm really glad we are adding stuff to it. Uh, there's always stuff I can find in stuff that's already built, like... You know, I have to do the bottoms here, but I don't think that's going to happen for a long while. Um, and I was thinking, you know, it might be cool just to do a complete sandstone platform or something like that. Um, let me know, guys, actually, in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think I should do for the surroundings of this. Should I just continue doing these buildings or should I actually try to do something with the other three edges? Or, um, you know, just let me know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode.